Hey guys, it's me, Bryn, and I'm here with Hal. And um, I just have a little bit of an update. Sorry. Um, as you know, we've been having some problems with him. And, um, it's been like just a roller coaster of he's fine. Oh no, he's probably not fine. Or he, no, he's fine. And now he's not fine. Um, he, we went for, um, to get his hematoma drained and, uh, um, our other vet was wrong. Um, you know, he was concerned about his x-rays, but he just chalked it up to the hematoma. But it turns out it's two totally separate issues. And um, if he never got a hematoma, we probably would have never known until, you know, like the end. So, um, yeah, um, he, sorry. He has cancer um, in his chest, in his lungs. It's late stage. It's moved to his lungs. And um, comparing the x-ray from the other day compared to a few weeks ago, it has gotten bigger. Um, so this vet <clears throat> thinks that um, he doesn't have much time. And, you know, it really sucks, but, you know, we're confused and mad <laughs> and, of course, sad because, you know, he's our little boy. He's only two years old, so it just, it really, really sucks. But, um, he's comfortable. He's eating a lot. His coat looks really good. He, he just looks really good. They were able to drain his hematoma quite a bit, um, and he's now on a steroid. <laughs> to help with um, the tumor and hopefully it'll help the hematoma as well but yeah it's just kind of a waiting game um, it's something he was born with so he's had it this whole time and again uh, we probably would have never known if he didn't have the hematoma and we did x-rays but uh, let it be a lesson to always listen to your inner intuition. You know, you know your animal best. Vets are humans too, and they make mistakes. They're not always right. They miss things. They misdiagnose things. They get things wrong because they're human. And, you know, they have a large spectrum of things that they do. Unlike, you know, with human doctors, how we have cardiologists and... Uh, people who specialize in liver treatments and kidney and we just we have all of these different specialists when for ferrets we just expect like one vet to know everything for us and to do everything for us and <sighs> yeah but you know it's it sucks I mean like a couple weeks ago we were told that it looked like the x-ray had um tumor activity so we had kind of went through this already and we kind of we grieved and um you know went through the motions <laughs> only to be told hey you know it's probably just the hematoma nothing to worry about like this is great news I'm so happy like the vet just really hyped this up and uh unfortunately um, it's not just that, and it's two separate things, and it would just happen, just happen to be there. And, you know, he's only two years old, so it's not, it doesn't, you know, it's not, it doesn't look great for him. And, uh, we don't know what kind of cancer it is, um, we won't know. 
because we don't want to do anything else with him because um, like putting him under is really risky right now. I can't even get a full drain from his hematoma because that would require uh, more anesthesia and we just don't want to risk it. We can, you know, keep a uh, needle aspirating it or whatever, but uh, like a full drain just is a little bit too risky. And uh, he doesn't like being at the vet. He really doesn't like it. I don't like being at the vet now. When I go, it's like a lot of bad feelings, you know, but um, he's really, really strong. You know, he's been resting and he's still kind of not in the mood to do much of anything aside from eating and sleeping and cuddling. But we're hoping that the steroid will at least help um, if there's any pain, uh, help give him a little bit more energy. I'm doing nutritional support as always, herbal therapies as always, but it just happened, you know? You can't, it doesn't matter, sorry, Tanji's playing in the rice box. You could be, you know, like the best owner, like, you know, I'm on top of everything, like... You know, he has a great diet, he has plenty of exercise, never locked in a cage, never use cleaners, chemicals, um, they're not over-vaccinated, all that stuff. You could do all that stuff, and I don't like to say that it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't matter, but sometimes there are things that are out of your control. And this is just one of those things, and you know, having as many ferrets as I do, I just knew that at some point, you know, something's gonna happen, you know, whether it be now or like when they live, you know, their full lifespan, like something's gonna happen, you know? And, um, yeah. So I don't really know what else to do, you know? Because, um, you know, working on videos and articles and stuff, um, really helps sorry keep my mind off of it because you know he is sleeping a lot so like when he's awake you know I'm with him I'm spending time with him but when he it's a long time when he's sleeping so I like to work on things during those those times and um it really helps and of course my computer just decided to break <laughs> so that really sucks but um I'll find something to do but uh, going back to working full-time in a couple weeks, and we're moving, and I just, I really hope that, um, he can be, you know, with us for that. I'm just gonna go before it, you know, but thanks guys, and, um, I'll see you soon. All right, bye.